Greetings and salutations, viewer. It is I, Eric J. Chucky, and it has been quite a long time since I've been able to sit down and play my Final Fantasy VI. Uh, there were a couple of things I wanted to clue you guys into. Um, the reason it's been a while, which you guys don't see any interruption. Um, I believe I've been uploading basically podcast day is Tuesday, so when that goes up. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, sometimes Saturday. And we take off uh, Sunday and Monday. Um, so y- y'all haven't seen any interruption as far as I'm aware. Uh, but my one of my darling cats uh, knocked my old headphones um, off of my desk and the jack snapped in half. Um, and long story short, is is pretty well buried in the, the port. Uh, that's all right. I've got a plenty of other USB ports and stuff that I can use instead of a 3.5 jack. It's not. It ain't no big deal. But it took me a little while to get some headphones and find time to record. And by the end of the weekend anyway. I do shit on the weekends instead of recording, so, uh, I made some notes, uh, the funny thing was, I was gonna record, um, the same night I recorded the last episode, y'all saw, um, but I, I got into something, I think I started eating a sandwich, and one thing led to another, and I didn't have any time, so, uh, I made some notes for myself, because I didn't want to forget, and I'm glad I did, because it ended up being a hell of a lot longer, so, um, first things first, uh, we did some, le- um, not too much, I don't think. We were mostly looking into getting some people some magic. So we did that. You can see Strago's got some spells there. Um, we're getting a ways on the realm. She has at least Cure, so that's a good start. Um, I don't know if Locke and Terra have anything new. Whatever. Uh, I also, um, I did that off screen just because I wanted to equip the ward bangle on realm so that we could get through this next section without um, a bunch of random counters because they're kind of thick in here. This is a weird portion of the game where um, I wouldn't say it's hard. I mean, it can be if you're not ready for it, if you're way more under level than I am here, or don't know what you're doing, or prioritize certain things. Um... I'm gonna walk and talk at this point, uh, but it, it it takes your resources because you know town is so far away. Um, let's show off sketch again. I know we showed it off against Ultras, but here's how it works in a regular thing. So she draws the monster, which is a cool effect. And the monster uses one of its attacks. Um, sometimes they have special powers, and spells, and stuff. You know, uh, usually it's just some sort of ability. Oh, I equipped him. I equipped her the heal rod. That's right, so that she could do something useful. But sketch is kind of like... Um, there goes Terra. That's better. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you've got these two people who are new. They barely have any magic. Sketch ability kind of blows. Um, You're, you're basically running with a new party. Maybe you forget to move them to the back row. I certainly usually do. That was definitely... Remembering to do that at all was new for me. Uh, snorted. Yep, yeah, okay. I got locked up. Oh, we broke a thousand hit points at some point. Nice! How exciting. Oh, I forgot these guys... Uh, great. All this effort, we're not going to get any experience with this shit. Yeah, there's a difference in defense. Heck. Now let's try summoning meta. See if that helps us out. That's another thing, too, is the admin carry. Uh, <coughs> most monsters overall are uh, really high physical defense here. But their magic defense sucks. Kind of like in the uh, magic check research facility. Uh, so, we've got to use magic points to kill shit. Oh wow, look, yeah, three of them broke a thousand. How did I not even notice that? That's cool. That makes me happy. We're also Strago. I don't remember if we were last time or not, but I think he looks cool. Jokobo suit. 
is gear for Strago and Rump. Negates poison and brings out one's inner chocobo. Um, I don't know if that means anything. I think at one point later on in the game we get some armor called the Moogle Suit. And the Moogle Suit um, turns you into a Moogle visually. Less magic defense, but more other stuff. Let's give that to Stray. Because he's the one who's going to be doing actual attacks. Still rare, right? right. Uh, later you get an item called a Moogle Suit. You put it on, your character sprite looks like a Moogle in battle. I don't think it does in the overworld. Uh, or in dungeon match or anything. Um, uh, right, there's a Chocobo suit, there's a Behemoth suit, and I think a Nut Kitten suit. And I think at some point maybe they were all supposed to, you know, do the thing. But that most definitely is not the case. Um, just the Chocobo suit works. So, brings you out your inner Chocobo is just uh, your flavor text. Or maybe it never was supposed to, I don't know. I'm not looking that up. I'm not that dedicated at the moment. It is so weird for me to hit my own party members. Like, I never realized how useful the heal rod was, because I was a kid. I believe I talked about this last episode, too. Tabby suit. Cat suit negates poison. Okay, what does this do? You have slightly more magic from it. Less vigor, less speed, less defense, less magic defense even. Slightly more magic though. Uh, yeah, let's put that on Stranger. Well, what does that compare to the guy here? Oh yeah. Yeah, let's put that on Stranger. Um, this should hop us down. Yep. So this is part of what I'm talking about. You guys remember when we came through here earlier? Uh, there's all these treasures and shit to get, so you gotta go all the way back around again. In fact, I think we got them all, though. I think we can just go forward. Um, there's a lot of cut content around Strago and Realm. There's one thing that if you guys have played the game before, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but if you haven't, I'm definitely not going to spoil for you because it's fun. Uh, there used to be a scene involving that, and I'm sure I'll mention it at the time. Um, that had to get cut. Uh, I guess in the original game as well, Strago had a wife who is a geomancer um, who uses like it's kind of like what Mog does, honestly, except she probably didn't dance to do it. Uh, what are we doing? We're protecting, We're protecting ourselves. Uh, and uh, there's not much of a story between these two characters. There is, um, but it's not as, as detailed or developed as some of the other characters in the game. And some of the other characters in the game aren't that developed, so you know that's saying something. Better than like Mog or any of the secret characters. Yes, there are two secret characters. This is we actually have the last two of our. Uh, main cast. There's only two more characters to get after this, um, and they're, they take a little bit of deal. Um, oops. Still learning that. Yeah, it's a good spot to have. Uh, what about Lock? Garbon. Still learning nothing. So yeah, I, the fun things you learn from browsing the Final Fantasy Wikipedia. Okay, cool. That's everything I wanted to cover. Uh, I should have mentioned um, how Strago gets his lower abilities. I'm pretty sure I did. Because um, we got Pearl Wind. Or white wind. Uh, I like Strago's lures. I just think they're interesting, like visually. And I think it's cool that you get them from monsters. And uh, 
So with Strago and Realm and Gal, they're basically three versions of a blue mage. Um, and as I've said before, blue mages in Final Fantasy are, are what... Uh, they, they learn their abilities from monsters, essentially. Um, mm, might should use some magic against that I can carry. Uh, so, like, I love that Final Fantasy VI's roster is so stacked, but I don't know that we needed three blue mages. And by the same token, if Mog wasn't... I, I'm not sure why we, what we would have done with Strago's wife uh, that wasn't like Mog, that was still interesting to play as a Geomancer. So I can see why they cut her. Uh, I guess that's a cool dialogue, though. They bantered back and forth about who's going to die first. That be it? Good. Um, sorry, I'm getting kind of tangenty off. It's been so long since I've played and recorded, and I have so many thoughts I wanted to talk about. I also want to talk about um, JRPGs. And, uh, I guess we need to take the time. Um, I talked a lot last time about how I guess I'm not as into the old-school JRPG style as I once was. Uh, like this game. Because, you know, I... Random encounters and stuff like that aren't... Okay, can we jump down from here? No. Blarg. So I need the uh, Okay. Um, a shit ton of random encounters aren't as fun as they used to be. Like, this was exciting when I was younger, but at this point, I'm... Well, stuff has shifted. <coughs> we kind of talked about it in uh, the Warlock podcast, which comes out uh, tomorrow in the real world. Um, and way, way uh, earlier than this show came out. Oh, no, I healed him. That was dumb. See, that's why I didn't have that shit on. When I was a kid. Um, but uh, gaming in general, role playing gaming, has kind of changed a bit. You know, I, we used to do, when I played DD, every time, every day you spent in the wilderness, um, you had a random account. And this was how I was taught to play. Uh, from not my first DM, because we mostly did um, super old school. Uh, where town is a thing and a dungeon is a thing, and you just kind of go between the two. I think we did like one or two overland trips, but they were handled a little differently. But, um. Is it this guy? I'd be pissed if I'm wrong again. Yeah, there we go. Uh. We used to have to roll for one random encounter per, like, day journey. That was usually a fight of some caliber. And we'd have to roll um, on watch. And I don't remember if everyone had to roll to see if a monster showed up. Or if just the person keeping watch for the first time. Like a general party roll. And whoever's watch it was, they had to check and see if they saw the monster. Um, I don't do that shit anymore. And I don't think most people want that shit anymore. From, you know, at least in my groups. But, like, y'all see stuff more like Critical Role. Um, another big name. RPG. You know, Dungeons & Dragons. Uh gaming platform viewer thingies, shows, I guess is probably a word, um, where they do, it's less a random encounter and more, this is the consequence of the path you've chosen. So like, it might be just a wild monster, but it's a wild monster that makes sense for where they are, and it, it feels like it adds something to the story, whereas like, if, when I, back when I played second edition, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, uh, the Black Books. Um, we just random shit would show up. Man, I remember being like level two, three, and fighting hellhounds and all kinds of crazy shit, just wandering through the forest like like an RPG, like like Final Fantasy. Here. Uh, I don't know. Uh, that's not. I want to fight stuff. But I want to fight stuff for a reason, or you know, I want to have some agency over my fight. But, uh, that's not to say that I don't enjoy JRPGs anymore. I kind of jumped to that conclusion in a little bit of a sad blood moment. Um, 
last time I played because, you know, this is different for me. I don't know how much I would enjoy a game like this, but uh, if y'all were around back in the day when we played Forever's End, that had, I think it had random encounters, but it had a sufficient amount of encounters, and I thought those were fun enough. We had some cool abilities. Uh, Yep, here we go. Pick this up in a minute. This is an Esper? Where'd they all come from? There's so many. Gramps, take Realm and clear out of here. Some immense magical power in terror. It frightens me. I wonder if she's gonna go ballistic again. You're somehow different. I sense a familiar power radiating from you. Yes. You're the espers that fled through the sealed gate? As a rule, we are not allowed to visit your world. We few had gathered near the gate and were wondering how we could save the espers that had been kidnapped. It was just a coincidence that Terra appeared when she did. I felt your presence through the gate. We bolted at the moment Terra opened the gate, but once in your world, we lost control of our powers. We completely leveled a city and took some innocent lives. I really like Yura's sprite. Uh, if you remember, Yura was the guy who was the youth Esper in the flashback where we were playing Maduin. Um, he's got like some spikes, kind of like a Gamera thing going on. I, I wish we were able to see more of Yura. That's what happened to me. I lost all control of my power. There must be something in your world that allows you to focus your power differently. You must use caution while in our world. We are deeply sorry to have caused you humans such suffering and pain. The past is history. The Empire seems to want to talk peace with you. Why not come with us? They would forgive us so easily. Let's go to Thamaza and talk with General Leo. Right. Basically, the long and short of what I was about to say is that um, Pokemon is JRPG. They just released a new Pokemon last year, and it was spectacular. I mean, it wasn't the greatest game ever or anything, but it was definitely the best, if not one, just one of the best, uh, Pokemon games I've ever played. All the quality of life changes, all the new stuff, really good difficulty balancing, really enjoying running as a Nuzlocke challenge. Um, so, like, to me, that's a proof of concept that a traditional turn-based JRPG-style game can still exist in our current climate, but it would have to be fucking weird. Uh, I'm going to spend a lot of my summer playing a bunch of games I bought on Steam that I've not got around to yet. I might record some of them, but probably not. Um, this is like... I don't know. I might do a couple more games in the future, but this is a special occasion. Uh, Final Fantasy VI, that is. Um, but I do have a bunch of RPG Maker style games that have been made by other people. Um, so I'd like to check those out. And, you know, maybe I'll have more information on whether, you know, my opinions on, on JRPGs in the modern times. But uh, let's continue with these cutscenes. I don't want to slow things down too much. 
General Leo? Lark, you're back. And even my DS was agreed to meet with us. I don't know about eight, I'm not even sort of agreed to it. I'm General Leo. Can I have your name, please? I'm called Yura. We have done something inexcusable to your people. This probably isn't the time or place to ask for your forgiveness, but... Speak no further. It is we who owe you an apology. We hungered for your power. How close we came to reenacting the War of the Magi. We must put this all behind us. I believe our job is finally over. I, for one, could use some peace and quiet. Let's return to Vector. Celeste... Please, not another word. Those two are hot and heavy, huh, Grandpa? They're young, dear. <laughs> I like that retranslation. I don't know that I like Celeste's not another word. Cute little scene, generally. Uh... these red magitech soldiers again. <laughs> How about a little magitech mayhem? Oh shit. Oh, double shit. Kafka. What are you doing? <laughs> Emperor's orders. I'm to bring the magicite remains of these espers to his excellency. Behold, a magicite motherload. Idiots. <laughs> I don't care for the appearance of this pitiful little hamlet. So burn it! Kefka, no! Shut up! Changes gear. He's got a crystal sword, an Aegis shield, gold helmet, gold armor, Gigas glove, and a master scroll. What an interesting sounding item. Did he give us any rare gear? No, he did not. What a bug. Hmm. Decent stats. Obviously a physical attacker. He's got an ability called Shock. Level 27. Cool, cool, cool. Well, um. Hmm. Obviously, we want to fight Kefka. Let's see if we can get the rest of the party up. Uh, so they seem to be down and out. I'm sure all the doors are locked, people are safe in their homes. Oh no. Can we buy some stuff? Oh cool, we could, theoretically. Okay, but we don't need to. That's kind of funny. Um, so remember I told you guys about the Guardian, and uh, why I didn't want to fight certain Magitek armored guys. And here is why these guys were able to take us out so fucking hard. General Leo, prepare yourself. Alright, this is the Guardian. So, this is what the Master Scroll was. I will probably also call it the Offering at some point. That was its Super Nintendo name. Let's you hit four times. It's cool. Uh, Shock is a cool ability here. Also, generally, it was our first price in general. Haha, <laughs> generally. No damage. Cool. So, we're just going to leave. That is part of why we don't want to fight the guard. Uh, he also does a butt ton of damage. And they are at all the exits of this town. No, I won't let this happen. He's not gonna run. We're gonna go fight Kefka. 
Kafka. Your behaviour is dishonourable. I can't allow this. Bam, let's shock him. Yeah, whatever, I got a cool shield. Now I'm the guardian, bitch. See, I'm not sure if I care for the, the translation of Celeste's line there, because none of the word can be taken to mean that she's mad, whereas I think it should have been something more like smooch other, you know, shut up and kiss me kind of thing. Ah, Leo, always the consummate soldier. Where are you, Kefka? Show yourself. Emperor Gaston, I need you here. Leo, my leash. I'm sorry I deceived even you, Leo. My purpose has been to gather magicite and grow powerful. Please understand me. But, Emperor... Don't say anything. I understand how you feel. <laughs> That's right. What we have to do now is to collect magicite. My liege, what have I been fighting for? Leo, I'd like you to take a nice long vacation. A very long one. <laughs> so, you think you beat me? That was simply an illusion. And how did you like my guest on? I should have been on the stage. Well, General. You're always, always, always such a goody two-shoes. Kefka, you are a bastard. I oughta... Oh, a threat? You're such a violent little brute. <laughs> I'll tell your liege I had to exterminate a traitor. Die, die, die! So if it's been a while for you, here we are back at the sealed gate. There's a little pebble to drop down out of the barrier. It looks strangely key-like, I always thought. Like the head of a key. Not the piece. Oh, snap. Oh, shit. Turns out the Esper's like General Leo. Wait, will you help? Hurry! Get going! I don't know why they didn't use Esper if we don't have for this. It's kind of silly. Or at least palette swaps. So here we are in the Esper's point of view. Found the model. We know what's up. We know that it's on fucking Crescent Island. I'd say you're all charged up, boys and girls, or whatever. Say, remind me to show you my magicite collection someday. You might see a few familiar faces. Now for a little magicite hocus pocus. First, let's neutralize your abilities. So, <coughs> Kefka just did some magic shit just then. Uh, so badass, he killed all three of those guardians. Um, and turned off the abilities of Esper. 
maybe magical dude. I don't know if it's a Magitek in him or what, but this dude is powerful. Now, the Lesters, let's see what you got. guy here is a palette swap of the three. I don't know why we didn't just palette swap some of the other ones. Or use the ones we don't have. As you can tell, Kefka's got a real good ship. Imagine thinking you could defeat me. This is rich. <laughs> now, my little magicite pretties, come and help me build the magical empire of Kefka. Not the Empire of Gistol, but the Empire of Kefka. <laughs> Ooh, they're warm to the touch, but treasures! This is ridiculous. I had no idea you were such a wimps. Time to put a stop to all of this! <laughs> I think I have plenty of magicite for the time being. That is, until I make my way through your precious sealed gate. I don't believe this. Oh, Kefka left while we were all unconscious. Generally, uh... People only seem to want power. Do they really want to be like me? I, I wanted to learn so much more from you. Oh, it's Interceptor. Interceptor? That's a nasty wound. So we not only lost Leo, but Shadow too. Curse the Empire. will have to do. Suggesting he bandage the dog. You're so sweet. I'll stick with you. Now I'm worried about Edgar and the others back in the Empire. I hope they're all safe. Yeah, I want those sorts of blackjack. Maybe they are safe. We've been at The Emperor's a liar. It was all a trap. Thanks to King Edgar, we managed to escape before the trap was sprung. Way to go, Edgar. I got to know the gal brought us tea. After a while, she just blurted out the whole crooked plan. So, you finally hit Peter, huh? Watch your mouth. There's ladies present. I was a perfect gentleman. I guess that's Sabin's use of slang. It's another Dean Winchester moment for you. General Leo's gone. Kefka did him in. Sir Leo, dead. What a waste. He was their finest soldier. Character growth. Science mourning the man. Love it. We need to rethink our plans. Let's return to the airship. May I accompany you? Who are you? He's one of this town's citizens. He's descended from the Magi, the magical warriors of yore. I think he can be a big help. The Empire's going to flex its newfound muscles soon. We can't allow them to get away with this. I want to go too. I think not, young lady. <laughs> You're right, kid. You'd just slow us down. What? Who is this puffed-up aerobics instructor anyway? Kid's got quite a lip. Uh, I'm going to paint your portrait. Wah, stop! Oh, all right already, if you insist. Yay! Let's go. 
What's wrong, lover boy? How old are you? Ten. Why? Weirdo. I'm going on ahead, okay? That's just criminal. Don't even think of it. Okay, so they kept the original translation. So, um, obviously the super funny joke there is Edgar hits on everybody. So he was going to hit on the little girl. But, like, don't, for obvious reasons. Um, it's very Japanese. And I'm not saying that's a cool thing to do over in Japan, because... <sighs> the kid's still a kid, no matter where you are. But, um, especially a ten-year-old. But, uh, I don't think it's meant the way we would take it today, first of all, in America, especially. Um, in the 90s, it was just a joke. A joke is just a joke. Much like the situation with Setzer, um, and Maria kidnapping her to make him be his, to make her be his wife. Uh, it was something that probably wasn't thought about too hard. It was just played for humor. Um, if, if you watch anime in the 90s, there's a lot of jokes like that. Uh, Inuyasha is one I could think of that, uh, monk character whose name I can't remember off the top of my head, uh, also did some uh, flirting with people he thought were of uh, appropriate age or that he was hot going anywhere or whatever. Uh, the original SNES translation said something more like, you, you're already grown up way too fast or give yourself some time to grow up. I think the, the Game Boy Advance one was more like, oh man, eight more years, nice, or something like that. But this also uh, raises some stuff. This is the quote I mentioned I would probably change as well, um, handle it a bit more delicately. I, I think I like it a bit more as Edgar taking a moment to uh, give advice to somebody, to break his character, as it were. Um, Edgar is capable. When he needs to flirt, he gets the job done. He flirted with the lady who brought the tea and got information. Or at least that's what he tells everybody what happened. Uh, he flirts with all the ladies in his castle. And he ain't getting nothing. They all get what he's after and roll their eyes at him. Uh, I feel like Edgar's flirtatious personality is a front. I feel like it's something so people don't take him seriously. Here is this lavish king living in his desert palace. He's such a flirt. It's Bruce Wayne and Batman. Um, whereas when it comes down to it, he's allied with an underground resistance group that's against the horrible corrupt government, and uh, he makes a lot of cool gadgets. Um, it's not quite as big of a divide. I think Edgar is still sort of a flirt personally, or at least gets interest in it. But like, you'll notice a lot of tonal differences between when Edgar's being serious and when he's being flirty Edgar. And uh, usually with characters in this kind of media at this kind of time, those differences weren't so stated, uh, so obvious. So, uh, yeah, that's what happened there. Um, we lost General Leo. The music here has changed, that's weird. Let's go over here before we go to the airship and let's get our two pairs of darts. We did thankfully get a lot of money from our excursion. Time to spend it all. Uh, and a little bit of that, of course, from me doing all my level ups. Yes, person, they all dead. <coughs> it hurts. There's a kid's house all burned down. There's an interceptor. I didn't realize he was over here. You can now go to General Leo's grave. This was not an option before. The, if you remember, I came over this way and the screen stopped. I think here-ish. I came around this side here. Or it might have just been woods. I don't remember at this point. Um, that door's locked. We can't go inside. Let's check. Whoa, really? I'm Gung Ho, warrior extraordinaire from the town of Famasa. I've never been back in a while. The village looks trash. What on earth happened? Hey, Gung Ho? Is that you, Strago? You come back to hunt hiding? When you were younger, you hunted hiding. Legendary monster, but you quit before you found it. I didn't really quit. It's just that, well, the monster lives only on Abbott's Rock, which has been submerged for some time. 
You never could give me an honest answer. What a buffoon. I did not know Gung Ho was here at this point. Damn it. Curse the Empire. Curse Kefka. That was kind of cool. He said, damn. I can only take some comfort in the fact that there were so few casualties. And it was pretty much just Leo and some Imperial soldiers. That was some countless people. Are we all healed up? Yes, cool. <sighs> okay, let's check. I think there's one other NPC to talk to in the item shop here. Boss is small. No, they're gone. I wonder if they died. Sad. Okay. The Empire's after the seal gate. They're looking for some statues or something. No, it couldn't be. So remember how they, everyone kept saying something in the Esper world was letting them keep a hold of their powers. We found those little tiny statues um, that were representative of larger statues that are in the Esper world. The Warring Tribe, who are the gods of magic. That's what helps Esper keep control, the gods of magic being so close. That's why they were drawn to that little surrogate spot on Crescent Island. Oh, those silly Espers. To think they opened the gate themselves. The warring triad should be just ahead. If we can just get our hands on them, we'll have everything we've ever dreamed of. Come quickly. What's wrong, Terra? The island. The world is groaning in pain. Uh, notice here as well, Terra and Celeste both work for the Empire. I wonder if General Leo's sprite lines up like this too. They were both high-ranking Imperial officials. They have similar shoulder pads. Just putting that out there. Roman Strago, same color palette. Back of the back of the island kind of looks like a laughing skull. Wow. This is one of my favorite dungeons in the game. I just think it looks really cool and it's got some really neat mechanics to it. <laughs> so this is the power of the Warring Triad. With this is my magicite, nothing can stop me. So that's what those statues are there. Those are the actual uh, petrified Warring Triad. This world will be mine to command. The beginning of all magic. The Warren Triad. It is said that they turned themselves to stone by facing each other. That way each one's powers would be neutralized by those of the other two. Those three statues should ever be moved out of alignment. The resulting imbalance of power would... rip our planet apart. What? Okay. No, we're not doing any of that shit. So, now, here we are. We've got the big floating continent. Um, and that's that's where Kefka and Gestahl are. I don't know about you, but that seems like an endgame dungeon to me. No, that's actually no hard. I mean, after all, it's not like anyone else can equip it. Did I actually equip their items or just their relics? Look at me being dumb. Okay.
Uh, let's talk to Mog here. Koopa! Yes, we'll change party members. We'll just grab Mog. So, uh, as I was saying before, uh, Robin Strago, same color palette. Uh, Edgar and Sabin, same color palette. So does Celeste, the same color palette. But notice that uh, each of their outfits has a different primary color. Mm, sort of. Uh, Edgar's is more the blue and the green. Celeste is more the white and the green, although there's obviously blue and white. Saban's more blue and white. Um, but they, they, it makes them distinct. Uh, Cyan and Locke have the same color palette, so does Setzer. But Setzer's more highlighted by the, the black and brown. Uh, Locke is more blue and brown, and Cyan is pretty much all blue. And uh, then Gao has the same color palette as these guys. Um, but it focuses way more on the yellow and green. Than the red, like there's still. Terra, still a unique color palette. Mog, a different color palette. Just cool little theming. And different ways to use the, you know, the palettes available to you. I was one of the Empire's generals, but I still know evil when I see it. He's big fun playing games now. Let me at the Empire. That before uh, new people. I know. Let me draw their portraits. Well, that won't do fucking anything. In all my travels and in all my years, I can't believe we played a major role in it all. I'm all right. I'm sure peace is within our grasp. The Empire deserves the worst. Come back, you little bastard. Gal becomes stronger on the felt. Okay, so we do actually want to change party members. Um, yes, let's get... What do we have here? 25, 25, 24, 24, 24, 24, 25, 23, 24, 24, 24. So everybody got kind of a boost. Um, which, I, if I remember correctly, is usually what happens here. Uh, I think usually I've got people at level 30 by this point. Um, but I think we'll be okay. I know we need Maul. And we might as well take one strike. I think Setzer's neat. Do we, 23 is relative. God, I really don't care. Um, but see what a difference using those espers to get those HP bonuses makes, comparatively? These guys got artificially leveled up to be in line with us because of the game. Whereas, you know, look at the hit points of Locke and Terra. Um, who else to take with us? Who else to take with us? I guess we could do Gap because of where we're going. And we'll be Mog out front, why not? Okay. Alright, sets are first. So we're going to do a Genji Love. And we're going to do. Let's do a hyper wrist. Where's that? There it is. So now we can use both pairs of those darts there. Oh, and actually, do we want Green Beret? That's the one that gives us the extra health. Uh, Strago, we want the Tabby suit him. Yeah, for the extra magic there. And a Priest Miter. Hell yes. Um, let's go ahead and give him the. Zephyr Cloak, because it matches his sprite and really no other reason. And, um... Earring? No. Do we have anything else that increases magic? Ooh. Barrier Ring. Sure. Uh, Gal, we want the Black Belt on, because he gets very strong. And, um... We usually put a ribbon on him, so he doesn't get weird bad status effects. I think his equipment is fine. Yeah, and he can have the Tiger Mask too, so... Uh, Mog... Let's do him the Dragoon Boots, and... One of the Hyper Wrists, yeah. Oh, that's a good increase in Vigor. Okay. Um, he needs some more Vigor. Well, what's his magic? Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. I, I'd like to kind of keep him in line. I like to... Because of how his abilities work. Um, oh, perfect. Uh, 
I just want to make sure he has <clears throat> uh, a good balance, I guess. Uh, Gal. Uh, oh yeah, he learned a bunch of these already. Yeah, let's get Catabupus back on. Uh, you? Uh, do we have another bigger guy? I don't know, maybe? That's bad. Feet. Let's put a feet on. Uh, MP? Yeah, let's get him more MP, because his spells cost a lot of MP. Okay. Um, let's switch things around there a little bit. What a weird group. Okay. <sighs> hmm. Alright, so. We lift off. We don't want to go to the foot and combat yet. We've got shit to do. Um, and it's a good thing the guys came by because, as you can see, we would have been fucking stuck out here. Nothing to do. So here's the belt. Yeah, let's let's just go all the way back. Here. Where are we? Oh, we got rid of the map. Or maybe I accidentally pressed the button at some point. Like a dumb uh, Let's... Hmm. That's a long walk to get back to the airship. We're going to take it either way. I guess it's just a full circuit no matter what. You know, I'm not going to want to walk back at the end of this journey, so let's start here. Ugh. Prepare for some random encounters, kids. Um, but I get to chat again. Some about these topics that uh, I kind of had to breeze past. Um, what what rages do we like? I forget. Oh, straight cat. Yeah, that's good. Uh, Mog can jump now. Strago is fine. Attack, I guess. And now let's see what. Sick. It's all just kicks and ass. And can you imagine just pumping Strago full of strength and just watching him beam people with a mace? That'd be pretty hot. Um, bam. Yeah, I was so strong. There we go. Not bad from Setzer. Just parked the ship at Nakia, and I'm wandering off into the fucking wilderness. You will see soon enough. Oh, it'd be cool if there's a chocobo stable around here somewhere. But I don't think there is. Now it doesn't look like there is. We gotta go all the way. <laughs> That's alright. Um, press the bridge here. And I showed you guys this earlier on the map. Remember this wasn't there before. Or rather, it was blocked off by an extra little bit of mountain. The crazy old man's house, where Sabin uh, landed after his split from us on the raft. That's where we started his scenario. So, hmm, might change to that dragon that did uh, sandstorm. Good God. Hogwarts Thunder, Blizzard, Fire, nice. <coughs> I 
should probably worry more about Mog's magic. In fact, let's show you what Mog does here. Uh, dance. So let's use Desert Lullaby. Why not? There we go, Sandstorm. Bam, done. So what Mog does when you hit dance is he starts dancing. Um, sometimes he fails. Uh, there's a, just a chance. I don't know. Um, and uh, when he finishes his dance, when he finishes, when, when, when his turn like activates, um, he will produce one of four effects. Each dance has four different effects. It's pretty random. I think some are weighted over others depending on the, the dance. Um, but he's on autopilot from then out, unless like some status effect. Gets him. That's what the Imperial base was. We can no longer go there. Um, and yeah, there's a chocobo. No, there's not. Wow, well, how about that? All right, well, here's Doma. This place was uh, there was an Imperial guard out here earlier. We couldn't get in, but we can do that now. Kind of look around a little bit. There's not a whole lot to see. Um, but I think there's a couple of treasures we can grab. So let's go ahead and do that. That's part of what we're out here for. There's a remedy in there. That's nice. There's a cute little area, too. A little bar, tables and stuff. What a nice castle to uh, We don't need a rest, thank you. Oh, actually, is there a... No rest. Is there any treasure in here? Treasure. Ah, there's treasure in here. Hi, Ether. An elixir in that clock, that's cool. Weird little alarm clock guy, I like him. This is Science Family's old room, where there's an X potion. I feel stupid because I think those treasures might get better later, but <coughs> I didn't think so at first. Um, I believe that's about it. Oh no, here we go. Phoenix down. Prayer beads. All our shit's all good. Prayer beads. Prayer beads. Oh, just a rush. Beads used in meditation by foreign monks boosts evasion. Nice. Yeah, plus 20. That's pretty hot. Um, great for a character with low defenses who you don't want to get hit. I mean, that's evasion, I guess. Just say more obvious shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, Mog's dances. Um, I think they got a better success rate if you're dancing in the area that they're from. Uh, but I, again, I can't perfectly recall. We'll finish exploring the area here just to make sure there's not something we're missing. I think that's it, though. Yeah, that's all. Okay. Hmm. It's kind of cool to be able to check out Doma again. Just get a couple of treasures. It's too bad there's nobody living here. Oh, wait. Did we go through? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. That's right. Nothing really off this way. We can go look, but... I have it. Wait a minute. Wait just a cotton... Eight minute. Neat. Oh, you know, back on the road. Uh, and if you remember, um, I did an episode where we got a bunch of dances from Mog. That's what we're doing here today. Um, there's a couple of these that you just straight up can't get uh, if you don't get them, you know, at this point. So if we had gone straight to the floating island, that guy's just dead, an ant lion agent.
Okay, Phantom Forest. Gotta love Cat Scratch. Sets are on fire, good. I'm mostly worried about you guys getting some level ups. Not that we need them for like progression or anything, but got the recovery spring. That's nice. I could have sworn this place was a maze, but I guess it isn't. Bam, dead. That wasn't even cat scratch, that was just a crit. Things we misremember from our youth. Oh, wait, this way. I suppose we're not getting many experience points through this, I guess, compared to magic points. Yeah, so that's kind of a mazy area. Okay, there, there was something to it. So we'll go back down through here, here. So usually we'd go to the area just before the Phantom Train. There's no Phantom Train. They carried everybody over to the other side. Let's let Maul jump. Where are we? Let's drop Catablebus. We saw a phantom, I believe. Ooh, my. There he is. Supposed to cat. Whoa! I was about to say, he's supposed to cast a uh, break on everybody to paralyze it or petrify it, and it worked. I guess because I cast it on some randos. Okay, here we are back at Baron Falls. And jump. Why not? No series of fights, no fight with the Rizopas. We just open up here. So. We don't need to go to Mobiles. Uh, do we have Flan? I think we do. Yeah, there it is. So we will use Strike Out. Ow, that's right. Wow. Hey, there's Mog with a jump. That was pretty good. Alright. Lenergia and Destroyer. Do we have those? I think we do. There's Destroyer. Yep, Lenergia. So. We use Fossil Dragon. Mog is muted, so we can't use magic. Let's get right over it. Uh, you'll notice the, the belt is not a different terrain. Let's check. Oh, he's doing Sandstorm. They're fucking dead. Dead. I believe that persists. Is it? Is it still muted? No, it's, that's temporary. Okay. Vector Puppet Commander. Almost positive we've got those guys. 
We'll check just in case. Vector pup for commander. Vector pup. Cool. These guys are easy enough to kill. Let's try to win Rhapsody and see if that brings us anything. And he's just punching, so. And we do Wind Slash. This would usually hit all targets. For some decent damage. Should probably want to increase Mog's magic, actually. Where are we at on Bismarck? Uh, yeah, that's good enough. Let's, uh. I don't know if he's even leveled up, but I don't know what I was thinking. I'm trying to give him more. Oh, so I can just give him out of it. There we go. I'm pretty sure most of his dances are full magic powered stuff. Let's take one more shot of the rage for Gao before we head off. Gold Bear and Agrophies. Oh, I'm pretty sure we got those too. Yep. Chip Rabbit, do it. We're okay. Neat. Well, that's not going to do anything because we're still we're already alive. But I didn't know Chip Rabbit could do that. Ah, sensors on gravity and Fira, or strangler on gravity maybe. Okay, cow on gravity. Who's on gravity? Kind of loopers. No, that must have been straight metal. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Whatever. I think Gao's pretty good on rages, so it's not really a huge deal. Oops. And you remember here? Jump? Why not? Now, I don't know about y'all, but I don't remember which way we went last time. I want to say we wanted to go left both times. Alright, we're definitely not going to dance because we want to get a chip rabbit. Uh, straight up. I think I want to do increase Mog's jump power, but the more I'm playing here, the more jump is kind of meh. Alright, we got a new dance. That's why we wanted to come here. That and one other thing. Yeah, I think left is the way we want to go. Okay, we are just going to hang out here. Um, we've seen Madarin. But you know, we could use some refreshing. Does anyone have Cure? I don't know if we've seen a free. Mm, no, nothing there. Alright. Cool, let's mess that up and get us some Cure. Yeah, we've seen Phantom, of course. Numb spines, I'm not worried about that. Well, I am worried about that if it happens again. This is perhaps what Realm would be useful for, and I'm going to feel real dumb if we're looking at the wrong monsters here, but uh, there's a certain ability one of them should use. You know what, we're just going to kill that guy. How about that? I know it looks like we can use Mog, but that's because his menu came up before he got stopped. Uh, what would happen if we gave him a command is that he would use that as soon as he was able. Let's use White Man. Oh, she's not stopped anymore, so that'd be now. Set for cape in action. They're all just using their attacks for some reason. I don't think it's those little guys. I think it's that dude. So we'll fight that thing, maybe now that it's alone. Who knows poison? Do you have some of those poison? Bio, I think that's too strong. Oh, gravity, good call. Maybe it's like an HP threshold thing. 
There's a gravity spell, doesn't usually work. Cool noise though. Remember how I said I wasn't going to look stuff up? I'm about to look something up. Talk amongst yourselves. Ah, oh, counterattack, you old bastard. Ooh, 50 whole experience. Lucky us. Hmm, maybe I'm thinking of this one. I thought we needed Strago here, but I, I think we already have what we need from him, so... Um, why don't you Belmodar? And we already have the dance here, so let's try Dusk Requiem. If they're still alive. Oh, we only did it to one. Ah, see, Mog stumbled, he failed his dance. So yeah, Aqua Breath is what we can get down here, I believe. Um, but we already know that. We started out knowing that. Gigavolt. Oh, that's that thing. Holy shit, but it healed us because we were in Belmodar. What a happy circumstance. Let's try Dusk Requiem again. That healed them all, because it's a water elemental attack. I'm dumb. Cave in, here we go. Bam. It did a small amount of damage, and I think it does damage every time. Cool. Okay, so we missed the cave. So let's go right. Because I believe we got the first cave last time. I have to take those Dragoon boots off of the log. Yeah, there's a cave. Nice. Uh huh, yeah, it's around here. Oh, what the fuck? I'm missing something, aren't I? Because that's how we get back out. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'm just dumb. I'm willing to accept that about myself. Oh no, here we go. Okay, we dropped down a hole. We got a green beret for our troubles, which would have been great if I'd gotten it back when we first went through. As of now, it's only... to Nakia and our airship. So that wasn't quite as important as I thought it was, <coughs> but we did get Mog that dance. 
And we could cycle through everyone's I fell down sprites here if we want. Oh, there's Setsu. Okay. We've seen everyone else's recently. So if I had done that earlier uh, in the game when we first got Mog, you would then talk to this guy here. So I'll figure about a ferry. Uh, we still need to shop. We're not going to fly out of here. Then we'd have to sail back. And that's how you get smuggled out through a box. Um, the little, the cool little cutscene that I missed showing you guys. So, what else is there to do? Oh yeah, we can get Mog his, uh, his town dance. That is over here. Where do you fight in a town? Zozo. I just need to get into a scrap real quick. Can't dance because then he won't learn the, the ability. Because it'll change the background, so he's technically not there. Thankfully, Gao took care of it for us. So, master the new dance. Let's get out of here. Okay. Honestly, other than leveling up, I think there's just one other thing to do. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. So, check this out. Uh, this is the way we got to the cave to go to the sealed gate. That's the floating continent. It's gone now. It's just gone. Ah, uh, yeah, I did want to show you this, though. How it's dark? How can an island float in the sky? If we're disappearing, islands are flying. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, thanks to that flying island, the town is shrouded in darkness. Isn't that cool? What a cool little touch. I didn't have to fucking come here. But they, uh, they had stuff for us. That's neat. Alright, we've got one other thing to do, and that's go to the auction house and try to get those, um, those special trinkets that I don't remember if I told you what they were or not. So, that's a lot of tedious grinding. I'm going to try to do it off screen for a little bit. Hopefully I'll get there. Um, so yeah, uh, as always, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure, and uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. Light out.